I'm going in person shopping again for homeschool books at the HSB bookstore here in Wyoming, Michigan. It's a little bit chilly today or maybe I'm just struggling with moving from a tropical climate um, to a Michigan summer temporarily so I'm a little bit bundled up here. Uh, but I'm excited to go in. So this, if you are a Michigan homeschooler, you guys can check out this store for yourself. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. I'll see if I find anything or what I find. And here is my mini haul from HSB Inc. Uh, this is, and if you probably have got the hang of things by now, if it's me, it's probably going to be a very mini haul. If it's my mom, it's not going to be very mini. We have different um, <laughs> styles. Um, and I benefit from her maximalism. But here is Laura Ingalls Wilder Christmas stories. These are kind of simplified stories about Laura and Mary. We have tried Little House in the Big Woods with uh, my youngest sister a couple years ago and it was too difficult. Um, so I thought this might be a good way to introduce the characters, maybe pique her interest so that maybe we can eventually do the Big House series. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear um, toddlers screaming in the background, but they are wrestling with my husband. So don't worry about them if you hear any background noise. They're having fun in the basement. These two books, Among the Forest People and Among the Pond People, are very old books that were recommended as part of a science curriculum that I'm planning to use in the future. Um, but I found these and they were both secondhand in the secondhand part of the bookstore. So they were very inexpensive and I was like, I'm just gonna grab these while I can while I'm here because I don't think they are all that you know popular bestsellers at the moment um but I'm I already actually read about three or four of the stories in here and I was I thought that they were really fun really fun to read I think um, my youngest sister right now would be able to kind of read these to herself um could be part of school or something and that was one of my big assignments was to get reading books for her so those could be used for her. They could be used with our science curriculum in the future, it's a couple years down the road. I got Preschool Math at Home by Kate Snow, um, just because I've heard, I've heard a lot about Kate Snow and her approach to math. I've heard good things. I've heard low prep, but still hands-on. I'm not a very like game person when it comes to math, but I'm also realizing maybe I don't need to be quite so workbook e in the future i don't know i have i've so far never had to teach my own child math but i'm i'm curious this is, so this was kind of a research by right here this is a really beautiful um, picture book and this was recommended as part of the science curriculum i'm planning to use in the future um, which i probably need to do a video about that curriculum at some point in the future but i grabbed it while i can 
um, while I'm shopping in America, I have to be thinking of a couple years into the future because I don't know when we would get a chance to kind of find some of these books that are not necessarily super popular. Um, but I think this is just a really cute little, beautiful little um, picture book that we'll be able to read. And most of the picture books I bought on this trip have all been in Spanish, but this one, okay, I'll make an exception. I got an English picture book and it's so cute. And then this I thought was fun. We're gonna be, um, we've actually already almost completely written one state study. I'm not gonna reveal the state just yet, um, but you might be able to guess it if you know our family pretty well. Um, but we've already written one state study for Where'd You Learn That? that we're gonna be publishing pretty soon and we're gonna be writing more state studies. So I thought if we're writing state studies and we're going to be probably doing them as a family with my youngest sister, I thought this might be kind of just a little fun add-on book for her. This coloring book, I think Dover has some really fun little educational coloring books. A lot of the ones they had at the store were maybe a little bit too um, intense or uh, intense subjects probably for her, like World War II, World War I. <laughs> so I thought United States was educational still, but a little more accessible and also tied into some of the curriculum we're creating for our little company, Where'd You Learn That Right Now, that you will be seeing soon. And it is going to be a state study like none you have ever seen before. Because you know me, I always have to put my own twist on things. All right, um, that is my little, little tiny haul. A couple used books, a couple new books, some for the future, some for right now, some for research. Uh, a few fun things. They'll fit nicely into a little corner of my suitcase. All right, I will be seeing you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, seven and all, if you wanna see more. See ya, bye.